Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, at first on her own, and then later with her band, Grace Petrie! <laughs> There's a lot of you, isn't there? Hello, Shrewsbury! How are you doing? It is really wonderful to be here. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming out to see me. Uh, give me a shout if you've seen me before. That's good, you know what you're doing. Give me a shout if it's your first time seeing me. That's good, you, you, you sound happier than the ones that have, to be honest, but... Uh, We'll do our best. Well, if you haven't seen me before, then I should explain, I should explain what's about to happen to you. Um, I am a, I'm a protest singer. Thank you very much, yeah. Actually, more specifically than that, I'm actually a socialist, feminist, lesbian, left-wing protest singer. And that is a full-time job, according to HMRC. And... Uh, and basically, I've been, I've been doing that uh, for nine years. I've been doing that since the Tories got into power. And uh, what I've been doing is I've been going around Britain trying to persuade people with the aid of my songs to work to make this world a better place. I'm trying to make the world a better place. That is what I've been trying to do. Thank you very much. Yes, it is a very noble cause. And I think we can all agree, can't we, that I've been bloody unsuccessful so far. Goodness me. <laughs> I, I, if anything, I'm making things worse. <laughs> things are going from bad to worse. But, uh, but we persevere, don't we? So it is an absolute honor to be here at Shrewsbury Folk Festival. And uh, I'm gonna start with a song that was taught to me by my wonderful friend, the late, great Roy Bailey. <laughs> at the ending of last century, I thought I knew the score. The miners lost the battle, but the good guys won the war. I stayed up with my folks, they drank champagne till 6am. The morning that we saw the Tories out of number 10. But short-lived was the victory from that May morning air. When came the bloody war in through the door of Tony Blair? A nation of resistance, peaceful folk denied a choice and taught my generation that a vote was not a voice. Well, before too long the boom was bust and the money had run dry. And when the people turned around and asked the Westminster why, the false god that they'd made out of the city still prevailed. And we were told the welfare state was why the system failed. Well, we were sold prosperity off working people's backs. And while we got mass austerity, the rich got let off tax And now the NHS is on its knees And the ones who get the blame Are people washed up on the shore With nothing to their name A world of competition For resources we must share Was brought about by Thatcher And made stronger under Blair But nobody on this earth should fight for food or home or health And I know we won't survive on every person for themselves Now I know less than ever what tomorrow's got in store But I owe it to my children to try for a little more Than cruelty and division Folks left in poverty to die And if we've got a chance to change it, then I'm damn well gonna try. Thank you. Thank you. 
very much. Goodness me. So yeah, that's what I do. I write songs about politics. And, uh, and I'll tell you, you know, it's been difficult these last few years because there's just, there's been nothing much happening. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. That is uh, the opposite problem that I have, which is that the ink is barely dry on the paper when things have changed and gotten even more <laughs> insane. <laughs> and I decided, decided a couple of albums ago, I decided I'd had enough of this. I'd had enough of everything I write immediately becoming redundant after I'd finished recording it. And I decided I was gonna stop writing songs about politics, I was just gonna do uh, an album of sort of just inoffensive, middle of the road uh, shit, you know, that couldn't, uh, <laughs> there's a language warning in this show, by the way, I apologize for that. Uh, I went to, uh, I was touring in, in, in uh, I went to play in Bury in the Northwest. Any Northerners in today? <laughs> Yeah, and I played a wonderful venue called The Met in Bury. Absolutely. And I got there and the guy who runs all their social media, he looked at me quite sheepishly and he said, have you seen The Hater? <laughs> and I said, no, I haven't seen The Hater, what do you mean? And he said, oh, every time we've posted that you're coming to play here, the same man has complained on all the posts. I thought, oh, crikey, I better check this out. So I went and had a look and, and this man the nature of his complaint was, I saw her once before and it was nothing but a string of expletives. <laughs> and I would love to say that that was unfair, but he was bang to rights, to be honest, I think. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it on the next tour flyer, what can I say? So people really know what they're getting. So anyway, my plan was to go non-political so that I could make a load of money and go really mainstream. And then I don't know if you heard about this, uh, but Donald Trump became the President of the United States of America. <laughs> so I thought, I'll go on then. <laughs> and I wrote this song uh, when he first got in, Trump, and he was talking about building the wall, building the wall with Mexico. And, uh, and he's a big fan, Donald Trump, he's a big fan of using this word, uh, snowflake. Have you heard this before? And, it's, uh, and it invariably, it's sort of aimed at younger people and invariably it's sort of used against them whenever they are uh, trying to point out the fact that the entire world that we live in is built on structural oppression and inequality. And it does seem to be the case that young people across the board seem to urgently want to fight for society to change so that the whole world can be more sustainable and more equal for everybody to get the most out of their one life that they possibly can, right? And I feel like, I feel like if that's the worst thing you can say about young people, <laughs> We're gonna be all right, do you know what I mean? That's how I feel. So this song goes out to all of the snowflakes in here tonight. I'm, uh, I'm 32 years old, I think I still just about count. It's called You Build a Wall, and it goes this. I know it's hard to keep aflame But tomorrow's ours to claim Sometimes a battle cry Sounds like a lullaby Well tonight I think we need them both the same To everyone who's scared of what they see Every time they turn on their TV To everyone who's listening to me And for every single kid I used to be. You build a wall and we'll build a ladder You're falling leaves dead from the branch And you'll see how much a snowflake matters When we become an avalanche You build a wall and we'll just get higher You don't learn to fight from privilege Hide in the dark and we'll light a fire You build a wall, we'll build a bridge We'll build a bridge Up in your palaces of gold Your day's already growing old 
And for all the ways you tried to conquer and divide, your ruin will be all the lies you told. Cause compassion lives in every single land. We are made of something you don't understand. Stronger than the weapons in your hand. And bigger than those armies you command. You build a wall, and we'll build a ladder. You're falling leaves, dead from the branch. And you'll see how much a snowflake matters when we become an avalanche. You build a wall, and we'll just get higher. You don't learn to fight from privilege. Hide in the dark, and we'll light a fire. You build a wall. We'll build a bridge. Everyone who's scared of what they see Every time they turn on their TV For anyone who's listening to me And for every single kid I used to be They'll build a wall And we'll build a ladder They're falling leaves Dead from the branch and they'll see how much a snowflake matters when we become an avalanche. You build a wall, we'll just get higher. You don't learn to fight from privilege. Hide in the dark and we'll light a fire. You build a wall, we'll build a bridge. You build a wall, we'll build a bridge. Can you do that, Shrewsbury? You build a wall. We'll build a bridge, you build a wall, we'll build a bridge, you build a wall, and we'll build a bridge. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is my first time build at Shrewsbury. And uh, my agent called me up and she said, they put you on the main stage at nine o'clock on Friday night before Oyster Band. <laughs> and I said, can I bring my friends, please? <laughs> please welcome to the stage my best friend in the world and percussionist extraordinaire, Caitlin Field to the stage. Yeah. So Caitlin and I have been playing together for uh, years and years. 10 years, blimey. You'd have thought you'd be released by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> playing with me, uh, playing music with me is quite a thankless task because uh, one of the things that I tend to do is that I, I write a song and then I immediately decide that I, I hate it. So I write a song and then, uh, and then we, we work it up, we arrange it and then just when it's sort of all done, I say to Caitlin, no, I never want to play that again, I hate it. And my problem with my songs, a lot of the problem that I have with them is that I think that they're too long. That's what I always say, my songs are too long. So I'll write a song and I say, no, we're not playing that one, it's, it's too long, it's too long and boring. And uh, this song was one such song. I wrote this, uh, this was on a record in uh, 2011. And it's called Orbit. And, uh, and I wrote it and then we worked it up and, and then, uh, true to form, I said to Caitlin, I never want to play that, it's too long. And when I'd first recorded it, I'd sent it into um, BBC Introducing. You know, there's a thing on the website where you can upload it to the BBC and that's how they decide if they're going to play on the radio. And I sort of uploaded it when it was recorded and then I totally forgot about it. And then 
I got an email a few months later from uh, Tom Robinson. I know, from the Tom Robinson. And it said, uh, subject orbit. I thought, I can't, I can't believe Tom Robinson's emailing me, emailing me about this song. And it said, Dear Grace, I uh, found this song that you uploaded to BBC Introducing, and I really love it, and I want to play it on Six Music, uh, but it's too long. <laughs> so what he did was, and this is hands down the coolest thing I've ever been able to say about my career, what he did was, he made a radio edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to play for you the Tom Robinson radio edit of Orbit. And it goes like this. Shadow hearts growing colder still. Don't you know? If you haven't made it yet, you never will. So cut the cord before you die by your own soul. My sweet Lord I could have been an astronaut I could have been James Dean All of the things I could have been I never could be yours at 17 Shadow heart growing ever dark, don't you know? You're gonna tear yourself apart. Oh, and I never made you nothing with my hands. All that I The center of my plans. Don't panic if you can't see me for the cloud. Till I burn out Sometimes we go so fast I just can't see us moving Sometimes we go so fast I just can't see us moving Sometimes we go so fast I just can't see us moving Sometimes we go so fast I just can't see us moving don't panic if you can't see me For the cloud I'll orbit around you, baby Till I burn out Till I burn out Till I burn out Till I burn out. 
Thank you very much. So, uh, it's a real honor to be at an actual folk festival. Uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's been sort of hotly disputed whether or not I am, in fact, a folk singer. There are some people who think that I am, and then there are some people who won't have me on the premises. And, uh, but here I actually am at, uh, here I actually am at Shrewsbury Folk Festival. So I think that must, that must make it official. And I think, you know, I'm not, I'm not a traditional folk singer, I'm not an authentic folk singer in that sense of the word, but I do think I'm, I'm, I am folk in the purest sense of folk, in the sense that I, I only have two types of songs, I have angry and sad. Um, and by the way, um, we are available for weddings, uh, parties, etc. Are you feeling a bit lonely up there, mate? A bit, yeah. A little bit lonely. Yeah. Should we, should we have some more band members on? Please welcome to the stage Jasmine Kennedy and Ben Moss, everybody. <laughs> Ben's been, uh, Ben's been calling a Kaylee. Up until about <laughs> 30 seconds ago. <laughs> So we must be a folk band, I think. Cool. So in keeping with the theme of, uh, of being folk musicians and only having sad and angry songs, I don't want that to alarm you. We're not gonna, you know, we, we're, not, we're not gonna, we're not just gonna sing you a load of sad songs and leave you on a sad note. We will, we're gonna bring you back up again with, with some angry uh, later on. But this is a sad song. named after something that is often a mainstay of British folk festivals, but thankfully it doesn't look like it's going to be a mainstay of this one. It's called Cold Waterproof Jacket. And it gets this. Nice. Well, I know you're locked up like a fortress I'd wait forever at your doors And even if they never open You don't need to be mine But I'll be yours I'll be yours Yours I'll be your cold Please check it Get me on when you just go hack it Your last ticket I know my strong suit isn't love I won't give away my heart and call it theft I won't give away my heart and call it theft Well I know you're locked up like a fortress I'd wait forever at your doors And even if they never open You don't need to be mine but I'll be yours I'll be yours, yours I'll be your cold water, blue jacket Get me on when you just can't hack it Last ticket, spare fiver I'll bring you up like a deep sea diver When you're breaking, you can't take it Get me out like a heart first aid kit Get me out, I'm your heart first aid kit Whoa! I know you're locked up like a fortress 
mattress I'd wait forever at your doors And even if they never open You don't need to be mine But I'll be yours If you were mine for feeling guilty Honey Get me out, I'm your heart first aid kit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodness me. Is this crackling or is something else crackling? It's something else. It's not my problem, guys. It's all that matters. So, uh, we thought we'd sing you another song about Donald Trump. Just to cheer you up. Is that okay? Yeah. I need to change over me mouth organs. Are we all right over here? I don't mean, I don't mean personally, Ben. I'm not... I mean, I want to know how you are personally. I just meant, is that, is the crackle? Did we find the source of the crackle? We think we're okay for now. Okay. Just checking in with you guys. It's a folk concert. You've got to take these things seriously. Back when I used to play punk gigs, I never even used to tune my guitar. This song is called Make America Hate Again. And it goes like this. Hey, 
fight again. you make to keep us down You show the truth how much you hate us But I'll defend my sister's rights Till they put me in the ground Stick it to the man, stick it to the man In the best way that we can By falling on our hands for a billion dollar scam We shut down the facts We're taking back control By giving up control To a man so vain and cold I've been a tower made of Can you see the same horror show as me In the land of liberty The straight white men Bring your tired, bring your poor Huddle masses in no more We put a fascist on the door And made America Yeah, that one normally sorts the wheat from the chaff politically. <laughs> I never get people saying, I just, I, I wish you'd just be more honest about what you think <laughs> on stage. Wish you'd come down off the fence. Yeah, and, I mean, and this next song is no example because I, it, no exception, sorry, because I actually, I decided, I wrote a song uh, about the monarchy and I will let you guess <laughs> whether I am <laughs> pro <laughs> or anti-monarchy. No, it's funny, I mean, I'm, 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 not a, I'm not a royalist, I'm not a monarchist. And it's funny, if you say that you don't agree with the monarchy, people sort of often interpret that to mean that you have, you know, individual personal problems with members of the royal family, uh, which I do, um, but no. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I've got no... No special feelings about any member of the royal family. I've got no. Well, I've got a few feelings about him actually, mate. But uh, it's for another day. But I, you know, I, do, I don't. Uh, I don't agree with the monarchy. I think it is embarrassing that it's 2019 and we still have monarchy in Britain. And uh, especially when we are, you know, we're nine years into the effects of austerity. Uh, and austerity, as we all know, austeri austerity is nothing but uh, ideologically punishing the most vulnerable people in society for the mistakes of capitalism, right? That's all it is. 
And it's all kind of built on this great big lie that we're all in competition with each other because there's not enough to go around, and that isn't true, right? There's enough resources in this world for everyone to have enough. If we chose to run society in a different way, we just choose to run things in a way that benefits such a small number of people, right? And uh, anyway, with all of that in mind, I decided it was my job to compose an alternative national anthem for Britain. And that's what I've done. And, uh, and I've, sent it, I've sent it to Downing Street, and I think we are days away. Uh, Boris loves it! <laughs> for it being officially adopted. This is called, uh, this is called God Save the Hungry. What do you guys say? For not thinking it's cool As some were born to suffer While some were born to rule Does that make me a traitor? Before you toss that word around Please understand that I love this land of mine And yeah, it's true, God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees a perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars And our leader sees nothing wrong So I wrote him a brand new song That goes, God save the hungry God save the poor God save those desperate souls Whose lives were torn apart by a war God save the homeless and those with disabilities And all the other times this heartless ideology And there's a long and shameful list Of folks we need God to assist But those who sleep in palaces at night I think they're doing all right And Britain could be greater If it had fairness at its heart Yeah, this nation all together is more than the sum of its past But they'll call you a traitor For even daring to believe A slight of hand from those who bleed This land's right. And yeah, it's true, God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees A perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars and our leader sleeps sound at night Cos he's got all the lyrics right well God save the hungry God save the poor God save those desperate souls Whose lives were torn apart by a war God save the homeless and those with disabilities And all the other targets of this heartless ideology And there's a long and shameful list and folks, we need God to assist But those who sleep in palaces at night I think they're doing all right I think they're doing all right So give me a song And the won't stick in my throat If you agree, the only power we should respect Is that come from a phone, yeah And yeah, it's true, God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees Perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars And our leader sees nothing wrong So raise your voice and sing along, yeah God save the hungry God save the poor God save those desperate souls Whose lives were torn apart by war God save the homeless And those with disabilities And all the other targets Of this heartless ideology And my gratitude to all the brave Soldiers spinning in their grave To see the eaten mess that they've made of The sacrifice 
Me. It is, uh, it's absolutely wonderful to be here. I'm a little bit taken aback by how many people are standing there, st 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 stood and sat in front of us watching. Um, and I'm very, uh, I'm, a I'm amazed. Every single day I'm amazed that this is what I get to do with my life. This is what I always wanted to do. And I can't believe every day I wake up, I can't believe how lucky I am that I get to be a musician. That's what I get to do with my life. But thank you very much. But when I, when I gave up my, my job, sorry, when I, be, I became self-employed, that's right. Um, <laughs> self-employed, not unemployed, that's right. Uh, when I gave up my job, I, I realized, I had a moment of thinking that the only thing that I do now, that I put into the economy, the only thing that I do is I just um, have a lot of feelings. <laughs> That's all I do. I have a lot of feelings and then I'm like, pay for them. <laughs> pay for my feelings. I got, got to thinking about the sort of narcissistic nature of being a songwriter for a living. And I, uh, I sort of turned it around in my head for a while and, and anyway, eventually I, work, I, worked out, I worked out a way to sort of square it. And, uh, and I wrote this song about it, and you can buy it off me in the CD tent. Uh, bit of fun, Ben. This is called Changing Shape. Guess like this. you every scar my soul achieved since birth to offer up my heart and all its contents to the earth so you can give it all a price tag and tell me what I'm worth but I'm just trying to make you love me I used to think I wrote my words to try and make a spark to light the way for others who was struggling in the dark But now I know I only write them In the hopes they'll leave a mark Yeah, I'm just trying To make you love me We do! So tie me to a chair I want to climb the walls I opened up the floodgates And I got walls falls Took everything that I learned And I sung it out Just a different shape Yeah, I used to be a child And now I'm just a different shape Laying awake in bed last night It hit me in a flash reason that I wear my pain like badges on a sash The reason that I wear it like a forehead cross of ash Is I'm trying to make you love me To every long lost friend I never meant to drift apart To every single in crowd that I'll never be apart To every enemy and every girl that broke my heart I was just trying to make you love me So tie me to a chair I want to climb the walls I opened up the floodgates And I got waterfalls Took all of my broken heart And I sung it out on tape Because once I fell in love And I fell out a different shape Oh every 
time I fell in love I fell out a different shape Ben Moss! For every time I ever felt myself under attack For everything I wish I was and all I'll ever lack And especially for you folks who are talking at the back Can't you see I'm dying to make you love me? But I could use this microphone for stories not like this Where I'm not such a victim, you know I'll never take the risk Cause when the curtain falls, tomorrow calls And I'm just a narcissist who's still trying To make you love me So tie me to a chair, I want to climb the walls I open up the floodgates and I go waterfalls Took everything that I learned and I sung it out on tape Everybody Changing shape. Thank you very much. <laughs> it, do it doesn't make it feel less narcissistic <laughs> when everybody replies, We do. <laughs> But I'll take it because um, I'm a Leo. <laughs> I read an astrology book last week just before we went on stage at Beautiful Days, which is a bloody great festival. And it wasn't a very flattering astro astrology book. And it said, Leo, you can't function without the constant attention that you see as your birthright. <laughs> It's pretty hard to argue with it in this line of work, to be honest. There is a reason, Shrewsbury, that I am dressed this way. <laughs> yes, I think some of you already know what it is. Yeah, there's a reason that I'm dressed this way, and that reason is because um, I've got a snooker match after the gig. Um, <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> the reason is that I wrote a song called Black Tie. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much. Yes, no, it's mad. It's like the closest thing I've ever had to a hit. <laughs> it's been loads of fun. And the reason that I wrote it is that uh, I was thinking about, um, around about the time, a couple of years ago when I was coming up to turning 30, I was thinking about my, I was looking back on my adolescence. And I was, I was quite an unhappy teenager, uh, like I think a lot of us were. And I was thinking if I could go back in time and I could talk to my teenage self, what would I tell her? to make her know that things are going to be all right. And I realized that the only thing that I wish that I'd known when I was 15, that I know now, is that it is totally OK to look and to dress the way that I look and dress, right? Thank you. And that probably, it doesn't sound like a massively revolutionary message if you are the kind of person who's always fit the clothes that the world prescribed for you, right? But there's a lot of people that don't, and that can be quite a lonely place to be. I'm obviously, I'm quite a masculine, I'm quite a butch woman, right? That is something that I'm very proud to be, but it took me a long time to get to that pride. Because we really don't, we don't celebrate in our society, we don't celebrate images of butchness or masculinity in women at all. It's something that is very much discouraged. So I was getting this message from all over society that the way that I was that was so inherent to me was like innately unattractive and innately threatening, right? And I carried that around me for years and years and years and years until something happened to me which changed my whole life, which is that um, I, turned, I turned 30 and I instantly stopped giving a fuck about anything. Um, thanks very much. 
I do, I try at folk festivals not to swear, but th there is a swear word coming up that I can't avoid because it's a part of a rhyme and it's the, it's the best rhyme of my entire career. So I can't avoid it. It goes, and the images that fucked you were a patriarchal structure. Come on, guys. Yes. I, uh, yeah, I had a biscuit when I wrote that, I'll tell you. So what I like doing is I like doing that as a sing-along where, uh, so we're gonna sing in the images that fucked you and you, <laughs> some people look more into this than others. You are gonna reply, <laughs> we're a patriarchal structure. Let's see who got through, it's be a bit like this. And the images that fucked you were a patriarchal structure. Just like that, amazing. This song is called Black Tie and it goes like this. Close the work for me Turn out to be boy for jeans Well, that's fine I decline A narrow set of rules That just don't work And these red lines They're not mine If you need me You can find me Ironing my shirt Cause I'm in black tie tonight Get a postcard to mine Year 11 self Year 11 hell Saying everything's gonna be Alright No you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you Were a patriarchal structure And you never will surrender To a narrow view of gender And I swear there'll come a day When you won't worry what they say On the labels, on the doors You will The spread of bigotry and fear It lets the uniting Piers Morgan into Mangareer And all our progress, yeah I wonder who it's for When I dare to utter that trans lives matter And all I got was a turf for a while, that's fine I decline Your narrow set of rules, they just don't work and These red lines, they're not mine if you need me, you can find me ironing my shirt Cause I'm in black tie tonight Get a postcard to mine Year 11 self in her year 11 hell Saying everything's gonna be alright No, you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you To a narrow view of gender And I swear there'll come a day When you won't worry what they say On the labels, on the doors You will figure out what's yours You will figure out what's yours And that it's got Nothing to do with fitting neatly in a box That was constructed to make it seem Like people come in just to tea that's in between ain't good enough And you will love And you'll be loved And you're in black tie tonight Get a postcard to my Year 11 self In her year 11 hell Darling, everything's gonna be alright no, you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you Were a patriarchal structure And you never will surrender To that narrow view of gender And there's folks you've yet to meet But you're exactly up their street And they've been waiting just as long To hear someone sing this song Better days are on their way When it won't matter what they say On the labels, on the doors You will figure out what's yours Girl, you're gonna be so happy Girl, 
you're gonna be just fine Girl, you're gonna be so happy Down the line, down the line Absolutely amazing. We're gonna do one more very, very quickly and then we're gonna get out of your way. Is it possible for me to have the lights up just for a second? I just wanna take a photo of this amazing audience. Oh, wow! Oh, blimey. Crikey. We're gonna do a selfie as well, is that all right? Cos we have a lot of gigs that nobody comes to anymore. Amazing, thank you very much. Sorry, we're taking the piss, we need to get off stage. Thank you very much, you've been absolutely amazing. We're gonna finish with a driving song. This song is about being on the road all the time. It's called Northbound. It's got a sing-along chorus where we're gonna do a line and you're gonna repeat it back to me. The first one is by night and day, like this. By night and day. Amazing, the next one is by road or rail, like this. By road or rail. Okay, those two lines are not next to each other. Look out for it, it'll, it'll trip you up. Thank you so much for this band. My name's Grace Peach, you've been absolutely amazing. I'll see you again. I'm doing a signing in the CD tent at quarter past 10. No one's gonna be in there because you should all be in here watching Oyster Band, but uh, I'll see you again sometime. Thank you very much. Two, three, four. Lonesome road goes on forever Espresso shop with a petrol stop I will make my way whatever The road's so dark, the night's so deep But I've got promises to keep And I've got miles upon miles upon miles to go before I sleep Are you ready Shrewsbury? By night and day
Tell you every time we talk that if I could get to you, I'd walk. You don't have to, but if you wanted to clap now, that I really made my day. Are you going to sing us out, Sweet Spring? By night and day. What a performance with her band, Grace Peach.